What's up guys, it's Sean and today we're going to check out Aetas Damansara in Tropicana itself. Let's go! Right in the center of this Perseran Tropicana, you have the Tropicana Park where it's located in between Tropicana Avenue and Tropicana Grande which is the neighbor of the project lah. Now it's like 9-ish, a lot of people are still training their dogs here jogging, doing their morning walks and things like that and what you will really appreciate about this site is the coverage of greens. In the back, you have the golf course. In the front, you have the park. Living next to you will be all the existing landed because back in the days, Pusiaran Tropicana has always been the luxury address, especially for those in the golf and country resort. You really have people playing a golf course next to your house. It's that ultimate living experience. Lah. Then in this Pusiaran Tropicana also, you have a very complete set of amenities. You have luxury homes like Ultra Mansion. You have the landed properties, you have the mixed developments, you have international schools. Proceed further into Kotea Damansara direction, you have the Tropicana Gardens, which is that ultimate mixed development again. So by living here, you ultimately have everything. Lah. Just that, because this road is only a two-lane, congestion also happens. Yeah, just to take note. Lah. We are at the site right opposite, you have MSC status, office towers. Let's head on to the sales gallery. Mm. So in terms of location, this is NKVE Highway and next to that will be the Persiaran Tropicana. So this will be the con interconnection between Aradamansara and this will be that signature Tropicana Golf and Country Resort. So this road actually connects Kota Damansara over to Aradamansara and Banda Utama. That's why this is then very very favorable. In total there will be 226 units in 1.76 acres and what I like is there's no direct branch out to the road itself. They will be sharing the same entrance with the Grande roundabout. That provides you a much safer zone for you to come in and go out from the residence. I think for every unit minimum you have three and it depends on which type and which floor you can go up to five car parks per unit because these people drive sports car. The gradient to the car parks are also calculated as well as the car park size is slightly wider compared to a standard one. They are introducing skip level ramps which means that you can travel twice the floor plate so you don't have to go as many times if you are parking on the highest floor of the elevated car park. And one of the things that I'm very very surprised with right is the extra storage space in car park lots and I think this is brilliant. Moving on to the floor layout. Every floor you have one unit <laughs> no, because every leaf right, is actually private to their very own residence and that's really privacy and security at its best. Like. Then during design there is an issue. The best view which is the golf course view is actually west facing and the problem with that is the heat that comes with the evening sun. Like. They are implementing low E glass and there's a panel for you to experiment in the sales gallery and to also prevent that heat from penetrating into the space they extended the length of the balcony they also added in shadings right so they use this brand uh search ferrari of france all this the long corridor the low e glass is just to resolve the heat coming up to the facility deck right you have your usual which is the swimming pool the gym right the open lawn, the pool deck, the family zones and things like that. So all these are actually covered. But one take in comparison to the size of the unit, right? Which is 3,000 over square feet. Then this becomes kind of small in relation. Right next to the office towel and a car park lot. STP at the end there, enclosed ones, and this will be the site itself. There will be a junction here turning in to the roundabout there, and the entrance of the site will be there. And imagine you living in the sky, having that as the backdrop of your unit. Unit that we're going to check out today is actually type B1. It's 4 plus 1 bedroom. The build up is 3,110. That's huge. This will be the private lift lobby. It means that the lifts are here. You come out from the two lifts, right? This lobby, it's already yours. So this will be the main entrance into your foyer and you have a powder room dedicated only to your guests. And coming in, you have the super wide space. I think this is easily seven meters that connects the living and dining 
to the balcony itself and you will realize that how deep this balcony is then you have the dry kitchen island that connects directly into the kitchen then you have the principal bedroom principal bathroom the family hall again with a balcony you have the subsequent rooms of bedroom one two and three this side so for working space connected to the kitchen you will have the yard space and this will be the clothes drying area that is part of their design as well what i like is this utility space because a house of such scale right will have a lot of things to store and one clear observation because of the layout being at the corner right there will be openings at three sides so you will notice that every bedroom will have their very own private windows Directly coming up from the lift lobby, this lobby entirely belongs to you. That's cool. So there's two entrances to the unit. One is at the front and one is at the back and this is for your maid. When you want to throw out like rubbish, right, they can just use the back door without going through the front. Especially when you have guests, they can access out to this lobby into the fire lift as well as the refuse chamber. Then you have also utility rooms as we mentioned for storage purposes. And one of the main issues they try to solve right would be the daylight into the very long lobby. So they introduce this huge panel at the end and they also design this window to introduce airflow into the lobby. When guests comes in, they will just take off their shoes here and then they will wash up before they head on into the unit. Coming into the unit, you will have your dining connecting to your living space across that gigantic balcony. And just imagine, right, if this is at level 18, perhaps, it's gonna look so good across the golf course. And I really enjoy and appreciate designs when you can accommodate your spaces in this manner. And this spans across seven meters. Almost all of the types right, will have this orientation facing the golf course. And the architect spends a lot of time in addressing the heat issue that comes with the sun. So what they do, number one, is to extend the width of the balcony so it has a longer span of shade. Number two, you have sun shading devices like this which is super cool, you can retract them. There's two types of color that you can choose from. In order to maximize the view, they use glazings like this and they build on curves, which is superb. Check this out, there's no drop. There's no drop at all. So if you can see the gap there, so this is how rainwater actually flows into this so they will not flow into the unit. Technology and design details. In fact, from the entrance, to the project up to the unit itself it's all one level you don't have to really go through steps and that is very elderly friendly very handicap friendly i absolutely love it then the other troubles you have when you have such a huge balcony right a seven meters balcony it's how would you treat your windows some choose to split it into separate panels and then you can fold them they put in cost into making these panels super big the one panel is so big wow another detail i really enjoy it's the height this is 10.5 feet on a normal treatment to this kind of units right usually they will put up like 3.6 3.8 meters so you feel the space this architect chose a very different approach to make it more homey i really like this scale it's very horizontal it's very flank like right approach well that's an architectural reference huh? anyway moving on to the island you will notice the skirtings are very tastefully done. Then you have the tiles that is super white, natural stone texture. And something about this kind of texture, it's not slippery, it's those anti-slip kind of materials. And one of the main issues when you have a very, very big unit, all designs tend to have a lot of partitions and that separates users then creates this gap between human connection. So when you come into units like this, then you will appreciate the openness between all the spaces from the living to the dining to the island the architect design for the kitchen to be connected to the island area connected to the family hall as well because if you notice especially during mco right when you have family gatherings at home 
there's a gap between the users in the kitchen while preparing food with the users in the dining area. I'm really kasihan the person who is putting in all the effort in preparing the food. Yeah, so I think this is a very very nice gesture. From the dry kitchen, you have the wet kitchen and all these are just for reference. In the end, when you move in, right, you get to customize your very own kitchen. At the end, you will have the workspace. This really amazed me again. Like the attention to details is just crazy. That empathy the designer has for the users of the space, right? This is a space for you to put in your external water filter. Like usually for high rise, they'll have a centralized water filter. Separate units is very hard to put in your own water filter, but here you can. For hot airs produced by the aircon compressors, those are usually treated as waste, meaning there's nothing much you can do with hot air, right? actually allocated spaces for the compressors below this working platform so you can hang your clothes here and with the hot air right it speeds up the drying process and next to this you will have the maid's room and her very own washroom as well as the connection out moving on this will be the principal bedroom and this will be your you have your king size bed and you still have so much space for circulation and every time you wake up right you will have the golf course as your backdrop and i like that they didn't maximize out so this is actually easier for maintenance in the future and as we mentioned just now all west facing windows will be treated using the low e glass in order to cut down the heat icon will be provided as well in the units except the maid's room and you have timber floors this will be your walk-in wardrobe and let's check out the bathroom for him for her by duravit and Grohi, right then you have a shower area that is actually connected outwards it's just a different experience when you shower with daylight around and that separates the wc and the bathtub what is very interesting is you get to design this as a lanai if you want to what this means is that your toilet is so big you can choose to hang out here this view is going to be so amazing. Imagine just soaking yourself, distressing after a very long day of work, right? Looking out to greens. <sighs> but one thing to actually point out, the finishes are just amazing. Check out the areas for you to put your shampoos. It feels like a hotel. You don't have towels around the WC area because this is supposedly a dry area and that applies across the other walls around the toilet as well because this spec of not having towels in the bathroom is actually a high spec where they can designate out dry and wet area very clearly and something beyond my understanding the developer actually is providing structural plans for this to be extended into the family house once again no drop and a very friendly height for all the switches Let's move on to the three bedrooms on this side. You have one, two, three. Coming in via the corridor, you will have this bedroom and I think you can do the cabinets design yourself. The height is still 3.175 facing outwards. Again, I like that it's not full height. It's more practical in this manner. Then all rooms have their own ensuite bathroom and they look amazing so please check with the sales staff right like what will be provided you have your shower screen shower your area to put this Woo. then your rain shower check out the finishes way once again no drop in level that is so cool and then before we go into the two rooms right you also still have storage space and i think this is a very very important space especially when you live in a big family setting you can easily just change one of the rooms into a study area or your workstation and the treatments are then pretty similar in terms of design for your glazing the width and also the bathroom so the ongoing price for this project is 850 per square feet and the lowest price starts from 1.8 what i really like of this composition of units right it's those very rare four bedrooms apartment and because of the floor layout design right? every bedroom has their own views and what i'm most surprised with is the premium units right the penthouse the garden units right 
all are sold out. Wow. So we are now in the final bedroom and they designed it to be a children's room. They can also have their very own bathroom. One observation is the window size is huge, right? Instead of splitting this into two, right? The cost to construct this can be halved, but they choose not to. They want to really preserve and bring the best view to the user of the space. This is very nice, just that the openable window will be on this side. Lah. So I think that's about it for this episode. It's now time for Sean Take 3 on 3. The three things I like, number one, would be the architectural treatments to the unit. Number one, the lobby. They put in a lot of effort, not only to improve the daylight, but also to improve the ventilation. Number two is the treatments to the privacy. To locate the powder room outside of the unit, it's something new, but it makes a lot of sense. Dry kitchen and the wet kitchen, they open up and connect all the way to the family hall, also makes a lot of sense. Then, a single level design across the entire project, that is very, very hard to do, but it makes a lot of sense because it's elderly friendly, it's handicap friendly, children friendly as well but personally what i really enjoy the most is the openness to this gigantic layout it's very easy to find layout with a lot of partitions and walls just because the number of rooms are also a lot but in this you can really feel that if i were to scream here my children in the bedroom can actually hear i think that's very very hard to do number two will be the persiaran tropicana s that signature address that a lot of people choose to live in. It's the interconnection between Ara Damansara, PJ, Banda Utama, and Kota Damansara. And it's connected via a private road, not really the highway. At the same time, having a lot of convenience to it. You have apartments, commercial schools, international schools, golf and country club, luxury homes. And you can really see that this product of Aetus fitting in the equation very nicely because you will have a four bedroom ultra size apartment in a very strategic location. And last of all, based on the conversations I had with the team, it's very obvious that the developers is really working hard on this project. You have the Western Sun, right? Then they resolve it by the balcony design and the canopy. You have the wardrobe space, they discuss with the engineers and make the family hall into a comfortable space. Then in order to improve the confidence towards their build quality, now they are engaging a third party contractors to ensure that all qualities are being delivered at the desired level. So I think the developer is responding to the market. I think that's very, very good. So three things I don't like. Number one would be the congestion that is happening in this location. Uh, because if you see the neighboring lot, you have Tropicana Grande immediate to your front. You have the office towers. And then at the side, you have Lumi Tropicana next to the junction into Golf and Country Club. You are really very close to the intersection and in the morning or evening or any time of the day, right? There are really congestion. When you kind of think of it, congestion happens because this location is very popular, it's very desired. And in order to resolve that, right, I'm very glad that the architect chose to enter the site from the Grande roundabout instead of directly branching out from the main road. So the experience of going back, you will still have that buffer. You can still make a turn into this zone before you are welcome back home. Point number two would be the scale of the site because it's only one point something acres, right? Hence the maximum size for your facility deck is also reflecting that, which is a bit smaller. Actually it's standard size, right? just because the units are 3000 square feet. 4,000 square feet, right? In compared to those, the facility deck then somewhat feels small. And last but not least, um, you are paying a lot of money, like 2 million for a leasehold property. La. So for a lot of people who don't understand, it can be kind of a put off, but to be very frank, I think this entire location is all leasehold. Um, the concern then will be whether the developer is going to extend the lease. The answer is yes, but do get formal, answers from the developer itself when you are purchasing units of such. Uh. Personally, what do I think? Will I stay in such a unit? Of course. It's very rare you get a four bedroom apartment in a location between urbanism and nature, right? Well, it's not really nature, but you have the forest reserve along with the golf course. The view is going to be spectacular. Cool fact as well, in this same stretch, right? You will have like four grocers to go to. I think you will need to make decisions which grocer you want to go to. And I think that's about it. Shout out to the team for showing me this amazing project. And if you really like this episode, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, this is Sean Tan. Ciao.